Ricky Kleeman, thank you so much. Thousands of people are protesting against across Russia today in a rare show of strength against President Putin. Police arrested at least 200 people. The demonstrations were called by controversial opposition figure Alexei Navalny, who plans to run for president. Elizabeth Palmer is with the protests in the heart of Moscow. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. After a last minute change of venue that created some confusion, the protesters formed up here on Tverskaya, the main boulevard that goes through the center of Moscow right down to the Kremlin. They shouted, Putin, you thief! And Russia without Putin! As the police formed lines and arrested some of the protesters. Alexei Navalny's wife tweeted that he was detained outside his apartment just as he was leaving to come to the protest. Like the last protest in March, this has drawn young people who support Navalny's main anti-corruption message, but who are also angry about everything from unemployment and low wages to state control of the media. Navalny, who's a lawyer, is also a populist and a provocateur with a genius for drawing attention. He's hoping to put pressure on the Kremlin by building wide grassroots support for a run at the presidency next year. He has virtually no chance of winning, but his supporters love the fact that he would be the first serious opposition candidate to challenge Vladimir Putin at the polls. Nora? All right, Elizabeth Palmer, thank you so much. A passenger jet landed safely in Sydney, Australia, after a large hole appeared in its engine casing. The crew of the China Eastern flight noticed the more than three-foot-long gas shortly after takeoff last night. Well, the plane was headed to Shanghai.